Hey, what's up guys? It's Texmore talking to you here. And today it's a quick one because I wasn't expecting making this video, but Luke Miani had to drop last minute clicks today. And so it ruined my plan, plans for the day to rest and wait for tomorrow. So I decided to make this video. It's a, it's a very quick one where I will round up the last minute leaks, which changed the perspective that we had on this event. If this ends up happening, God, this will be a way more interesting event than I was expecting and it's worth, way worth the coverage today. So let's start with the most boring leaks and the things that we are almost sure or 100% sure that will come. And Luke Miani said he's expecting and he revealed more details about them. And of course, the more like wild cards that Luke Miani expects to happen and they are very, very crazy, like an introduction of new products into Apple's product line. So no further ado, and before we do that, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like these types of content, I news I will cover the Apple event tomorrow, all of this stuff, reviews, I have the review, the comparison of the S22 Ultra against the iPhone 13 Pro Max, go check it out, it is on my channel. If you do like these types of videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this one. So yes, no further ado, let's get started. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the iPhone 13. Yes, the iPhone 13. Like I was expecting in my last several videos about the event, Apple is supposed to, according to Luke Miani, refresh the iPhone 13 with new colors, especially one, the spring inspired green. It's a darker type of green than the iPhone 12 and it's between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11 Pro green or midnight green. So it's between those two colors you can see here some images of it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty beautiful. I like this green. It's more like um, a deep green. It's, it's it's very beautiful. I like it a lot. It's like a forest green and I do like it. I don't like very light greens. I don't think they are attractive, but very, very strong and strongly toned greens are my favorite types of greens. And so, yes, I do love these iPhone 13's new color and I cannot wait to see it in person. So, yes, I'm very, very excited and let's see if it's ends up being one of my favorite colors, not my favorite color ever on an iPhone. And then, of course, after the iPhone 13, look, Miani confirmed another thing, which is the iPad Air. Yes, according to Luke Miani, the iPad Air will be coming in the new Starlight color. And yes, it will have all of these refreshes. I don't think he talked about the refresh. Let me just check here on Apple track, because I don't think in its video, Luke Miani talked about the fact that the, the iPad Air would have new stuff like here says according to Apple track it's an exclusive exclusive from Luke Miani it says a refreshed iPad Air will also launch this week in a new purple color similar to what's available on the current iPad mini so yes I'm not sure if it's the, the, the same iPad Air with different specs like the A15 center stage which I do expect it because I don't think Apple will just release a new color and then call it a day when the iPad Air is one year and a half so yes I do expect new stuff but according to Luke Miani we can expect new colors for the iPhone 13 lineup, a very, very cool green and a very purplish. It's not that much strong for the iPad Air, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like close to the starlight color from the iPad mini. But let's see how it goes on this event and if it looks Miani is correct. But the thing that makes the most amount of splash today and the thing that I'm making this video for is the new stuff that Apple is about to unveil. According to Luke Miani, the Mac Studio leaks that we have been hearing for about three to four weeks now are true and Apple is about to announce it here in this event. Remember when I was talking about the Mac Mini Pro or the Pro Mac Mini or the Mac Mini with the M1 Pro and M1 Max? Well, Apple won't just redesign it, the Mac Mini. They will just create two Mac Minis on a stack and make a bigger one, calling it the Mac Studio. This will be the Mac Mini Pro, the Mac Studio. It's a computer between the Mac Mini with the M1 or the M2 in this case and the new Mac Pro that will come with Apple Silicon. It's a mid-tier device. So it's like made for people like me that edit videos on your desktop, make videos for YouTube, they have a studio, they, they can create video content and they want a very fast computer like my M1 Max MacBook Pro, but they don't want to spend crazy amount of money on the Mac Pro. And so this is way faster than the M2 MacBook Pro. Then we should expect it to have the M1 Pro and M1 Max chip, the same chip and same performance as my MacBook Pro, but on a setup for a desktop device. So yes, it's pretty cool. And this Mac Studio looks amazing. If you see this, you will find it incredible. It has the new design trend from Apple, which is a rounded corners, just like this MacBook Pro. And it's very, very beautiful. Some images of it, you can see just the renders look incredible from me and Zelbo. And 
I mean, it's just crazy how good they are. Of course, if you read the report straight from Lukmiani, it says, according to people familiar with the matter who spoke with Lukmiani, the Mac Studio resembles two Mac Minis stacked on top of each other, with silver sides and white top, with round similar edges to the newest MacBook Pro models. The people who has to remain unnamed tell us Mac Studio is around the same footprint as the M1 Mac Mini, but about four inches taller. We are told Mac Studio is accompanied by a new display. And yes, this is the best part of the report. We are getting a new display. Tomorrow, we might see the first cinema display in a while. This display, according to Lukmiani, is accompanied by measuring roughly 27 inches. We'll have 27 inches, which is pretty, pretty cool. With a similar design to the new or old Pro Display XDR, but it will have slightly thicker bezels and no circular lattice pattern on the back. So it won't need that stupid and actually pretty cool, but um, unneeded in this design, those holes on the back. So it doesn't need that type of cool because it's probably not mini LED, it's a 27 inch LCD display, which is thicker and it will have a little bit thicker bezels. But if you see the image, it looks very, very cool. It has almost no bezel and it's way better than the current iMac with the chain. So I'm very, very excited for this display. I mean, it's so, so cool. I mean, I cannot be happier with this. Thank you, Look Miani, for this leak, last minute leak. It's just incredible. I, I just, I'm very excited for tomorrow's event and I cannot wait. If this display ends up being less than $1,000 or at l around $1,000, I might consider buying one and trying to review for you guys. So if you are so excited for that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because this might end up changing my plans for an external monitor on the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which if you watch my videos know, I bought one and I returned it because I didn't need it. So let's see if Apple makes one that can finally buy me over. But yes, this, leaks are just so incredible. And thank you, Lukmiani. I mean, I don't like being spoiled before events, but this just brings the hype so much further. And I think that increasing the hype, it's always better for an event. Because if you go with low expectations, the event just, it's kind of boring. Even when you watch it, you're like, eh. And if it ends up being boring, then you will be even more pissed. If the event ends up being boring or has some cool stuff, but you were hyped, then you were, okay, those things didn't happen, but it ended, ended up being, being cool. So I don't care. Do like this external idea and external display idea from Apple. I do like the Mac Studio. I won't buy one, I don't need it. I have my full performance here. The performance of the Mac Studio will probably be the same as this M1 Max MacBook Pro. So, I mean, I don't need it. It will be probably cheaper than this. Start at $2,000 and go upwards from that or at least $1,500 and go upwards from that. I don't know, let's see how it goes. What prices do Apple chooses to make it? But the most thing I'm most excited for is the Apple display. I don't know how they would call it, my prediction, Apple Cinema Display. But the best thing is you won't need to wait for it. Tomorrow, we'll settle all of these doubts and leaks. So yes, I'm very, very excited. Are you excited for this event? And are you excited for these products? For which one are you excited the most? Don't forget to leave a like down below there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because while you're there, you can leave a like on the comments and you can say to me which is the most important product of these new leaks. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite. My, let me tell you, is the Apple Display. Of course, tomorrow, these doubts will be all settled and I cannot wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, there's a video from the Apple event re recap after the event is over. So yes, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified right away after the event ends and you get my video. So no further ado, this was Thanks for talking to you here. See you tomorrow. Bye.